Well, hello once again, and it's Chop here with another review of a Banggood product. And what we're going to be reviewing is this little vault meter over here. Uh, on Banggood, it looks a lot bigger than it is. It's, it's actually really small. Yeah. If you compare it to my finger, it's that small. Makes it really convenient. I mean, it's so tiny, you can just stick it in your pocket. You can even store it in the plane hatch. You can throw it in a drawer. The size of this makes it really, really convenient. Uh, what can I do? It's a digital voltage meter, and you use them to monitor your LiPo batteries. So, can I test one cell? Let's find out. Got two one cell batteries over here. So, 350 milliamp battery comes out of a little drone, and we plug it in. There we go. 4.19 volts, and it's one cell, so it gives you one reading. Does it work? Yes it does. Is it accurate? Yes it is. There's another one cell. This is a thousand milliamp. Thousand one hundred milliamp. And this is used for an FPV camera. Let's plug that in. Does it work? 3.9 volts. Yes it does. How many cells? It says on the back there that you can... Two... 0.8 to 25.2 volts, which is one cell to six cell battery. So we'll test a two cell battery out. And just take the balance port over there, plug it into the pins, and it'll tell you immediately two cell, and it'll give you an all reading of 8.9, and then your individual cells, which is 4.06 and 4.02. This is an active battery. And we'll test out a 3 cell. This is an E-Flight battery. It's a fully charged battery. It's not, the voltages aren't for storing. And that's the convenience of this little thing. I mean, if you're working with LiPo batteries, and everybody who does flight is going to know that if you're working with LiPo batteries, you want to store them at a certain voltage, and you don't want to overcharge them past a certain voltage, and you don't want to discharge them past a certain voltage. And to be quite honest, when you're done flying, you've got absolutely no reference as to what the voltage of your battery is like. I mean, how do you test just how long this battery will last? We'll get to that in a little bit. We'll plug a three cell in over here. Tells you three cells. Total voltage 12.5, 4.16, 4.20, 4.18. This battery is a bit weathered. Oh, we got another LiPo battery over here. It's also a 3 cell. Let's plug the voltage meter in and it shows you 3 cells. Total voltage of 2.6, 4.17, 4.20, 4.18. Yeah. Gives you the voltage of each of the cells inside the pack. And then this one, lastly, is a 2 cell battery. But this one I don't use at this point in time, so it's got the voltage on it that's meant for storing the unit, which is 3.8 volts. And how do you check that? How do you know when you're discharging your battery? When is at the safe storage voltage? At the back of the battery over there, it says very definitely store long term at 3.8 volts per cell. So how do you know if you're storing it at 3.8 volts? Well, no, that's where this little gadget comes in handy. Plug it in, and it's two cell. 7.63 volts and 3.81, 3.82. It's a perfect storage voltage. Now we've seen that this little voltmeter can test the voltage of a battery when the battery is just laying there. But can it test the voltage of a battery while you're discharging the battery? And that we're going to find out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this Gen Zace battery over here. All right? We're going to plug the balance point into the voltmeter and we got our voltages same as before we're going to take the XT60 and I'm going to plug it into an actual airplane so there we go I'm going to switch the plane on And as you can see, the voltages are stable. And as I increase the throttle, let's see if this thing will actually manage or display your voltages as the battery is discharging. So here we go.
So as you can see, you can actually mon manage, or oh, well, monitor your voltage as the battery is being discharged as well, which makes it really handy. Do I recommend this little voltage meter? Yes, I do. I like it. It works. It serves its purpose. I could even, if I wanted to, mount it to the side of the airplane like that, or mount it to the hatch at the bottom, and it could show me the voltage as soon as I come out the air. What this is handy for is, you never really know how much time you've got on your battery. So you can do a test, you can run the battery for however many minutes you think you can fly and you can check your voltage when you're done or you can monitor it, monitor it as the voltage is dropping and you can time so, so you're never over discharging your battery and you're keeping your battery in a safe level where your battery can be recharged again and put the same amount of milliamp hours in it as came out. Because as everybody that flies knows, if you treat your lipos well, your lipos are going to treat you well. And if you keep over discharging them or charging up too fast, they're, 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 you're not going to put as many milliamps back into them as supposed to. So that's my review on this little part. Yes, I do recommend it. Yes, I think everybody should buy it. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.